Hi guys, it's Amy with A2Z Stamping and today I want to make a card for you using the Everything Festive stamp set. I love stamp sets like this. Well, first of all, I love stamp sets that are just words because then you can really use your designer series paper. But I also love stamp sets that kind of combined different um, holidays. So this one has P.S. I Love You, which will work for Valentine's, Trick or Treat one um, for uh, Halloween. There's Winter Wonderland, so that's winter. Be My Valentine, so that's another Valentine one. From Our Home to Yours, it has snowflakes. So that would work for Christmas time. Merry and Bright, and then Wishing You Peace, Love, and Laughter in the New Year. I'm going to actually use the Merry and Bright, but this is a really versatile set since you can do so many things with it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is our stamping, and we're going to stamp this Merry and Bright, and I've got that right here. I'm going to stamp it in Memento, my black ink, and I'm just going to stamp it on a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Right here, I have a little piece of Whisper White. This is cut at two and three eighths by one and three quarters. Was that one and three quarters? By one and three quarters, yep. And so I'm gonna ink that up. And I'm just gonna stamp it right in the center and line it up. I love that our cling stamps, you can put the sticker on the back and so you can see, and that's perfect. All right, let me grab my stamp and scrub. Clean that off and that is now all clean and I can put it back in my case. All right, and I'm gonna close the ink and that's actually all the stamping we're gonna do for this card. So we're gonna be doing a lot of layering. So for this one, I have a piece of real red cardstock. So this is cut at, let's see. So this was two and three eighths. So this is two and five eighths by two. Was I right? Oh my gosh, now I have to check it. It is, yep, two and five eighths by two. Perfect, yep, I did the math in my head, look at that. Okay, and, oh sorry, this is not real red. This is cherry cobbler cardstock. Always trust what it says at the bottom of my screen. Um, that's always gonna be correct. When I edit, I go through, I don't edit my videos, like change them or anything, but I do make sure that I um, have the correct stuff on the bottom of the screen. All right, so we're gonna set that aside. Then I grabbed some dip, some paper from the, oh, what do we call this one? This one's called uh, Wrapped in Plaid Suite. So this is the Wrapped in Plaid Designer Series paper. Um, this is the just the opposite side. So I picked this one with the, with the reindeers that are facing each other and then it has this plaid on this side. So this piece right here is cut at one and three quarters by four and a quarter. One and three quarters by four and a quarter. This one right here is three by three and three quarters, three by three and three quarters. Okay, and I'm mounting them both onto pieces of cherry cobbler. So this one right here is two by four and a half, two by four and a half. And this one right here is three and a quarter by four. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put these on there. I love using the designer series paper and letting it kind of be the star because our designer series paper is so pretty. And let's be honest, we all have tons of it, right? So um, this is a good card you could duplicate just with a different sentiment and different paper. And it would be really cute. Okay, so we've got those. All right, and then I have a piece of crumb cake cardstock. This is cut at half inch um, by four. And I'm going to just take my snips and I could use my triple banner punch, but I'm just gonna go old school here and cut a banner. Do you guys remember doing it like this before we had the triple banner punch? And like I said, I could dig, dig that out, but I'm just being lazy. Okay, so there, now I have a cute little banner and we can put our card together. Okay, so I'm starting with my card base of crumb cake. So it's cut at, uh, five and a half by uh, eight and a half. And we're gonna score it at four and a quarter. So I'll fold that over, grab my bone folder here, and it's gonna open this way. Okay, so first I have a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock, and this is cut at um, four and one eighth. Oh my goodness. Yep, this is cut at four and one eighth by five and three eighths. 
doing a lot of paper layering here. So I wanted to go with a little bit smaller layer. So instead of the quarter inch border like normal, it's going to be just a little bit less, half of that. Then I have a piece of crumb cake. So this one's cut at four by five and a quarter. That's what we would normally do. But I just wanted to add in the extra layer of color in there just to bring that cherry cobbler in. I could have used cherry cobbler just as my base to start, but then I would have had to add a light color on the inside. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go with crumb cake as my base. So there we go. Okay, next we're going to grab this one. And this is going to go, let's see, from red to red, but not quite centered, a little bit higher than center. So like that. Then we'll grab this one. Ask my kids to put the ornaments on the Christmas tree. Hopefully they're doing that. I'm not hearing a lot of that going on. Okay, so we're going to put this one right on here. Then we're going to grab this cute little banner we did. And this is just going to go about, I don't want to cover any deer's head. So I'm going to go about right like so. And then our cute little Merry and Bright. This will be a good card to mail since it's fairly flat. Mary and Bright is going right here. Okay, and then to finish it off, just with a little bit of bling, I have these uh, gems here. It says at the bottom of the screen what they're called, and I'm just going to put these three right here. Let's see if I can get them in a row. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay. We go and that is my card isn't that so sweet merry and bright and here's one i did earlier i love it so simple and we're letting all of this cute designer series paper do the work for us anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll subscribe to my youtube channel thanks guys bye